method of design of our CC structure. So first of all, we have to understand what is the philosophy behind limit state method of design. Now you can see here that the name of this method is limit states. So limit states mean you are talking about some states or positions where you are limiting some information. That means something is limited here. So as the name limit state is used in limit state method instead of failure. Here we are not using failure word but we are using the limits word. Now we can understand it more effectively. The limit state method use multiple safety factors which attempt to provide adequate safety at ultimate loads as well as adequate serviceability at service loads. So earlier in working stress method we were concerned about only adequate safety but here in a limit state method we are using additional uh, safety measure that is adequate serviceability at service load by considering all possible limit states. So that means here we are again talking about that limit state method is linked to limit states. So what are the limit states, what type of limits we are imposing in case of limit state method, let us go through. The selection of various multiple safety factors, here we are using multiple safety factors. So how to select the multiple safety factor? what will be the value of the uh, safety factor? Uh, later on we will be terming them not as only safety factor, they will be partial safety factor is based on the sound probabilistic analysis that means it is based on the values will be worked out on probability analysis by considering different kind of failures so here we are talking about different type of failures different type of material and different type of loads so based on all these things that means type of failure type of the material and type of the loads we will be selecting the safety factor so in working stress method we were not talking about the type of the loads there was no safety factor or factor safety we can say for loads so what is limit state limit state is a state of approaching failure so that means we are not getting the structure here failed so failure word is removed but we will be saying that it is the state limited state when the structure is just approaching the failure structure is not getting failed beyond which a structure ceases to perform its intended function satisfactorily so what we are saying that we will be adopting or providing or limiting something in the design some parameter in the design such that any structure when it will reach beyond the that particular state limit state we will say now structure is not performing the its function satisfactorily in terms of either safety you can say now structure is not safe maybe structure has not fallen or has not collapsed but we will be saying that beyond this limit this structure is not uh, neither safe nor serviceable that means you can't use that structure it may either collapse or become unserviceable so what is the possibility possibility is that whatever the limit we are imposing beyond that limit that limit may be some particular stress either the structure will collapse or structure will be unserviceable that means you can't take the services of that particular structure now regarding limit state method 
you can refer a whole section number five is devoted to this methodology limited method it will start with clause number 35 you can refer is 456 section 5 which will start with clause number 35 so now we have to understand what we were talking in the previous slide that there are some limit states so what are the type of limit states first of all we will say it is limit states of collapse that means when structure will be approaching the collapse structure will not collapse but it will approach the stage of collapsing so you can refer clause number 35.2 again from is 456 now let us understand it more effectively the limit state of collapse of the structure either structure or any part of the structure could be assessed from the rupture so there may be when you see some rupture in the structure or some component of the structure then you will say now this structure is approaching the limit state of collapse so now when you see rupture then you will say the structure is approaching the limit state of collapse because if there is any rupturing in the structure component that does not mean that structure has failed so it can be assessed from rupture of one or more critical sections and from buckling due to elastic or plastic instability that means if there is any buckling that means buckling just like bending in case of any structural component of that structure that means structure has not collapsed structure is not getting failed but it is just indicating th that means it will be the indication that later on it can collapse so main focus is in this method is that means we are not designing the structure for failure but we are designing the structure by imposing some limits during design such that structure will never collapse because we will be imposing limit so that means when you will be seeing any type of behavior of the structure then we will be saying that it is approaching the limit state of collapse so here we have discussed number one it may there may be any type of rupture there may be second point any type of buckling and third there may be any type of overturn so this is limit state of collapse it comes under the clause number 35.2 so what we have to do in the case of limit state of collapse the resistance to bending shear torsion because resistance to bending means it will be we are just relating it to buckling or we are relating it to rupture shear mean there may be some rupture some cracks can observe torsion may result into overturning so they are interrelated terms so the resistance to bending shear torsion and axial load at every section shall not be less than the appropriate value at that section produced by probable most unfavorable combination of loads on the structure using the appropriate partial safety factors so here we are terming it has partial safety factor so limit state of collapse mean we will be designing a structure so that it can resist the bending shear torsion at any section due to any adverse type of combination of loads so our structure will never fail because we are just treating it before any type of failure is possible so then again second type of limit state is basically limit state method first of all we have discussed limit state of collapse now limit state of serviceability which you can refer in clause number 35.3 so it means when your structure is 
just constructed and it is uh, ready for the use or ready for the occupancy and when that structure is occupied then what will be the behavior of the structure so that people uh, should uh, get occupy it safely so here we have to understand the limited state of serviceability deal with discomfort to occupancy that means if the occupants are feeling any discomfort then we will say the structure has reached limit state of serviceability and what type of uh, discomfort it may be caused by excessive deflection that means there may be excessive deflection in the structure suppose there is a beam or there is a slab it may get some deflection but that deflection may be allowed but if it is excessive deflection then everyone who will be just uh, looking about that structure they will not be happy with the structure and they will feel discomfort and uh, their uh, confidence on the that component of that building will not will not be there so they will not be able to utilize that structure uh, effectively so what type of discomfort it may be due to excessive deflection there may be excessive crack width if you find some cracks in the any type of structure if there may be a slab then you will be trying to move away from the slab because it will uh, your confidence will be losing any undesirable type of vibration decays etc or loss of durability so that means this will be the limit set of serviceability when you feel any type of discomfort due to any type of regions so that means when you are going to design a structure and you are taking care of limit state of serviceability then first of all you have to be sure that there should not be uh, excessive deflection there should not be cracks of uh, greater width or you, or you will be restricting particular width of the crack or there should not be any type of vibration leak case as well as loss of durability so all these parameters we were not getting uh, addressed in case of working stress method so that's why it is the limit state of serviceability now we can understand here that structure has not collapsed but providing discomfort to the occupants and failed to fulfill the intended purpose for which it is made up now let us uh, sum up it the attainment of one or more ultimate limit states so we have discussed two limit states limit state of collapse or limit state of serviceability so here the attainment of any one of these states may be regarded as the inability to sustain any increase in load whereas the serviceability limit states that it denotes the need for remedial action or some loss of utility so that mean if your structure which you have designed is reaching the limit state of collapse that mean now it is not able to sustain any type of load later after that it will collapse whereas when we are talking about the serviceability limits serviceability limit indicates that there are some remedial corrections uh, need to be taken so that it should not lose its utility therefore ultimate limit state or limit state of collapse are conditions to be avoided during the design and serviceability limit states are the condition that are undesirable therefore in a limit state method of design we are governing the safety of structure during and before its use by designing the structure such that to assure that we have to make it sure that the probability of reaching any limit state is acceptably low that mean when you are going to design by using limit state method then we have to be assured that any type of limit state will never reach so we have to design structure accordingly we will be choosing the section selecting the material 
as well as applying various type of checks that checks may be related to strength that checks may be related to deflection some crack width or any type of leakage durability etc so all these things we have to take care while designing any rcc structure with the limit state method thank you